Hi there guys, I'm Army Brat, and I'm uh, joined with Sean here. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just going to start doing some uh, weekly vlogs. We're going to sort of let you know what's happening, uh, what's new g going on in Trove, Cloud Raiders, uh, behind the scenes if there's anything going on. Uh, also, upcoming or ongoing events, etc. Just a bit of like a news feed, if you like, about what's currently going on in the Legendary Studios community. Uh, so, in this one, we're going to be talking about our new spawn in Trove, uh, the Legendary Legion Club World and the plans there, the new architect rules uh, and the form uh, that you can now fill out to become an architect in our Club World. Uh, there's uh, so a couple of new builds going on, just to sort of let you know about that. Uh, the box opening that's currently going on in Trove, and then a little bit from our uh, sponsors. So, let's get going with the new spawn. Sean, if you want to take over and talk about the new spawn whilst I, I do my little shall. flying around. It is It is a rather majestic new spawn. It's not quite finished yet. It's still in construction. Uh, there's been a few people that have come forward and given us some really nice ideas in regards to the new spawn, which is great. We really appreciate all the feedback that you guys give us which gives us ideas as to in regards to what we should be doing to the spawn because obviously it's not just us that has to look at it <laughs> very very uh, true uh in, in regards to something you said earlier john you, you said weekly vlogs so now we have to do it every weekly whether we want to do it monthly or not <laughs> <laughs> very true but i think weekly is a good time because i think we'll i think now that we're starting to be a lot active we'll uh We'll start getting some stuff to talk about. Well, and uh, I was going for weekly it. anyway. It's <laughs> fine. Uh, if you are looking at the wall, at the outside walls of the uh, spawn point, uh, please ignore the uh, obnoxious yellow. That is not going to stay there. That is just a placeholder. Let me show them. Trying a few ideas. Yep. That one. There we go. There it is. Oh yes. There. Blinding. Put on your sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> or your no scope uh, glasses. Oh, we <laughs> oh yes. Sponsor. <laughs> yeah, this we, stuff. We, yeah, this will get. We don't changed. plan on leaving yellow. No, uh, definitely as the, not. It's the color. It is just a placeholder that Death Bob has placed there to basically for him to see what the wall would look like if you built it that way. Um, I think you ran out of blue blocks. Yeah, probably, most likely, most <laughs> likely. But don't worry, I think most of us, uh, I think I might even be start taking over and see what I can do about getting some of this finished in that the coming like weeks. So, that's the new spawn, guys. Hope you'll like it. Come on and check it out. Also, we've got I'll some stuff. I'll put a link to the uh, world in the bottom so everyone can join it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, now, let's go and check out the new... Uh, use that we've got for the Legendary Studios, uh, sorry, the Legendary Legions Club World that we've got. Uh, to get there is actually a lovely little portal right here. Let's go. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> Love these loading screens. There, you go. there we go. There we go. Hello, little QR code. I actually sprung little. it on Sean. <laughs> yeah, little. It's only 40, 40, 41 by 41. What happened to the tree? Oh, uh, I deconned it, because this is going to be where the new platform is going to be, because we're going to have a oh. QR code for the Facebook, which is that one. Then we're going to have one for Twitter, one for YouTube, and one for Twitch, eventually. <laughs> In the coming weeks, I'm hopefully going to build those, because they're actually a little bit smaller. I think they're 33 by 33 and 37 by 37 blocks, the other ones, so a little bit smaller, so it shouldn't take me too much time. So yes, yeah, so this is what this is place is going to be. It's going to kind of be our social connectivity kind of area, also kind of checking out how to connect with us uh, uh, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and checking out what our current events are doing, etc. Uh, this is also where we hold up like give giveaway stuff, but that's why we're only allowed to have this place to ourselves. Yes, <laughs> exclusivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got to keep our chest perfectly locked to only us for now, because we've got all this good stuff to give away. Now, you want to give him a peek? Oh, definitely. Look at all that stuff. Ooh. Oh, look at all that. And then there's a bit more in here. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, and here's all my boxes. Here's all my lovely boxes. I'll be actually. I might as well talk about them now, seeing that they're here. I'm up to two thousand two hundred boxes, guys, for my box opening uh, video. It's going to be on YouTube in the next couple of, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe well, between three and seven days. I think I'm guessing it really, not a couple of weeks really, about three to seven days. I'm guessing uh, I can get eight boxes about that. I think uh, so. That'll be uh, uh, on YouTube soon, hopefully. Now. I think what we need to do is uh, discuss about a couple of new uh, rules and 
the architect and uh, the new builds that we've got going on in Legendary Studios. Uh, Sean, do you want to have a quick uh, talk about the architect rules, etc.? Rules, right. I will load them up. Awesome. So I do not uh, get anything wrong. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, so essentially the reason for having rules is just so people don't take up too much area and limit whatever people can build. Uh, essentially what we've said is, you know, basic rules to begin with. No griefing. This means no tampering, changing or destroying other builds. No offensive builds. Please ask an officer or leader of Legendary Studios to check before building if you're not sure. Um, now, you can, you can either have three building spaces to yourself, or one, depending on the size of them, or two. So the way we've got it is this. You can either have three 25 by 25 build spaces, or you can have one 50 by 50 and one 25 by 25, or you can have one 75 by 75 build space. That this means blocks, obviously. So the, mean, the purpose behind that is to stop you from taking up too much space that would then mean that others could not build as well. If we just said that everyone could go rampant and build what they want, people could take up half the club world, quite literally. Be disastrous. Would very um, be disastrous, yes, yes. yes. Oh, oh, yes. Um, you must outline your build area and put a comment sign up stating what your name is and what your build is. The reason for this is so that we can then credit people when we go to make YouTube videos of those builds later on. Um, we'll be starting the YouTube video series of all builds in the Legendary Studios Club World. Uh, so please remember to put up your comment signs there so that we can credit you in those videos. Um, if you finish building your allotted build space and you would like more space, then please just ask an officer or leader of Legendary Studios and we'll get back to you in regards to what we feel uh, would be a suitable area for you to next build in. So, again, you're not taking up too much space as one person when obviously there'll be a few people wanting to build. Um, yep, so the Cobble does have a lot of architect buildable biomes now. We've, we've changed all that around, so there's loads of architect buildable biomes now. You may choose wherever you want to start building if it's if your application is accepted. Uh, you just need to leave a 10 block space if you're building near another another person that has been outlined, just so you don't you know interfere with areas which they could potentially want to build in in the future. It's just common courtesy, really. Yes, and just to uh, give you a bit of more information about that, I'm actually showing them where they can build right now. I'm actually in the world, Sean, if you want to join on ah. me. Mm -hmm. um, if you look where on the map right now, there's all these little golden hammer looking icons. These are the ones that architects are allowed to build in. Uh, there are ones that have the little trove symbol. Uh, they are for officers only. The ones with the little golden hammers are the ones that you guys are allowed to uh, build in if you are accepted for uh, architect. Um, promotion. So that is all uh, the information we believe about our uh, uh, architect um, promotion Benches. and uh, <laughs> form as well is, is available on our Facebook page. Uh, I believe it's uh, facebook.com forward slash legendary studio social. Um, that's in the notes, notes section. Just fill out the format uh, and send it to us via email and we will get to it within 48 hours. The email address being legendarystudios9000 at gmail.com. And that's 9000 as in 9 followed by three zeros rather than the word thousand. Yes, that'd be a bit long. Would it be a bit long? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Now, I believe that's all we've got about time for about Trove. So I think we're going to go on to our um sponsors i think i believe that's oh now don't don't uh, think we're, we're sort of sold out a little bit guys we do enjoy um having sponsors and we will get um a little bit more sort of active with sort of telling you about sponsors what they do how they are um the in the sort of stuff that we've got in regards to them and saying that both me and sean have actually purchased our own no scope glasses i've actually purchased the hydra edition i believe sean you've got the the orion they look like aviators oof wicked <laughs> <laughs> yeah i went for the sporty look uh sean went for the aviator because he likes to fly <laughs> <laughs> look at him, look at him with his dragon. Look at him, look at him. 
get away, get away. That's it, get away. I believe <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're going to give you some uh, some uh, pointers about what we like about the glasses. Um, I'm sure... Boxing um, video. Yeah, yeah, don't forget, yeah, the Wubbin unboxing video from Sean with his little Orions. Uh, hopefully, I may even do one myself. I don't know. I've not decided yet. I may do about my uh, my Hydra ones. I really Getting do two different them. kinds, so we might as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so yeah, don't don't think we're gonna start just sort of uh, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. It's, it's, that's not the way we want to be. We're just gonna let you know what they do, what they uh, what they can offer you, and essentially how it's going with them in regards to relationship wise and what they're doing for us as well as what we're doing for them, etc. Um, so guys, I believe we're gonna uh, just quickly cut the video just here because I believe we're gonna talk about something else that is a, a very big development in our community so i'm going to cut the video now Ooh. and we'll go on from there uh, right yeah we are back and this ladies and gentlemen is cloud raiders now cloud raiders is made by the company called game insight now i can't tell you too much about what me and game insight are up to however um i can confirm that we are or soon will be in partnership with Game Insight officially and what uh, that basically means is that we'll be working alongside them and helping them to you know gain more of an audience for their games develop help develop their games give them some ideas to how they could in some cases better their games um, but at the same time they are going to be heavily promoting our channel mentioning on their Facebook pages what our channel is doing, the fact that we're streaming their games, uh, they'll provide us with certain giveaway items that we can give away, such as resources within their games. Uh, I mean, as as you can see here in the uh, the top right hand corner up here, we've got a, a button called where you can buy diamonds, and they have actually given me a fair bit of these diamonds to give away already, uh, and I believe they they plan on doing this in the future. So if you do take an interest in this game excellent come and come and have a watch whenever i'm streaming it and uh, if you like the idea of winning something you've got a bonus because i will be doing giveaways while i'm streaming it as well um, this is just how my base is going at the moment as you can see i've got quite a few different things dotted around the idea being that when these people down here it says incoming attack when they land and they're trying to attack my base the, the thing is they all seem to sort of push up this way through the base and funnel through uh, so obviously all these defences will shoot at them and I can call in artillery and such to, to also deal damage or slow them down but if I have things dotted around up here like so it basically just means it takes longer for them to destroy everything which gives me more of a time frame to, to fight against them uh, but this is not the only game that I will be streaming for Game Insight we do have a very fun and interesting future ahead of us with Gaming Insight, so it's definitely something that I'd suggest you all get involved with. It's certainly going to be a lot of fun for both of us. Do you have any comments Pretty to make so. about it, John? Yeah, I've only played it on the iPhone um, at the moment. That's what I downloaded it first, and I do I do like how it's uh, nice and fluid, um, very easy to use, and if, I, I actually picked up on how to play it pretty quickly. Uh, I've gotten to a stage where I can't really get any further because I need to stop upgrading everything so high that I'm getting killed all the time, and I keep forgetting to get all the men. Um, so yeah, uh, but um, but other than that, yeah, I do like it. It is a good little game, good little strategy game, and I will continue to play it, and hopefully get to join your club soon. Oh, actually, that is a good point. Uh, we did make a club on the game. Uh, currently, there's only four of us within the club. However, we've got it to level four all by ourselves. I mean, if you, if you look at some of these things, some of them take, like, you know, a million or 50 million gold resources to actually unlock them. And some of the things over here, which took something like 200,000 gold each to unlock and and the members of our club as small as as small as the club is at the moment the members of our club have really got together and and helped to contribute to unlock all these different things we've got a really good active and helpful community already within this game and we've only streamed it twice so it's an excellent start uh, and Wicked. We've, we're gonna have a really great future in this game uh, as you can see here yeah. garlic gamer one of our moderators on twitch has had a uh, a very Sorry about that guys i was a uh, just talking about Cloud Raiders and basically my push to talk button is mouse 4 which goes back a page 
so it exited the game and went onto my Facebook page instead, as that's what this game runs off of. What I was saying before uh, before that unfortunate business <laughs> is that uh, Garlic Gamer here, one of our Twitch moderators, is having a really fun time in the game raiding other players, which is how he's got all of these valor points and how we've essentially got all of these resources that we've used to unlock all these different uh, unlocks here that would help better the uh, your, your experience on the game really they give you faster troop upgrade speed faster troop training trap rearm cost reduction uh, faster ammo regeneration faster cloud production rate faster gold production rate and you get all these silly things like conqueror statues at the end and obviously it's just a bit of a silly landmark when you get to the end but leading up to that there's some really useful unlocks we, we certainly plan on continuing to play this game and all the other game insight games that they think we should be streaming uh, and hopefully giving you a really fun time watching them as well I'm certainly having a very fun time playing this game uh, I enjoy playing it, I can play it for quite some time they actually suggested I only streamed it for about a couple of hours but I managed to on, on multiple occasions stream it for at least three hours and I could have continued to play it even after that I just thought that you know Probably best to uh, take it slow to begin with. Uh, let everyone settle into the uh, the new game that we were adding to the schedule. Yeah, there are some really good games um, that I've actually had a little quick look at. I've not actually played them yet, but I do like the the ones that have um, the sort of tank domination. That looks pretty cool. Might give that a go sometime. Uh, as well as uh, uh, Dragon Eternity. The graphics on that look pretty cool. But I don't think the graphics that I've looked at are actually representative of the game. I don't actually know. Because they look amazing, but I think it's going to be... Enough, I pointed out the tank domination game to them, and they said that it was primarily a Russian-played game. Like, the, the, you know, the player base oh. is primarily Russian. So really? uh, they didn't feel that I'd particularly get an audience on that game. I was actually really excited at the prospect of streaming it, but they don't think it would take off for uh, an English streamer like me. <laughs> well, uh, I think I, I think there was a I think there's a tank game that I used to play on on iPhone. I can't remember what it was called, but it was essentially just a sort of four four tank use, kind of like a, kind of like Worms, you know, where you had four yeah. tanks and you just had to kill each other that way. But uh, I don't actually know how how sort of close that is into that. It looks like more 3D, but I don't know if that's what it's like or if it's going to be like uh, uh, an iPhone version or like a mobile version of a. Uh, of World of Tanks or something like that. I don't know, but um, I, I like I like the look of it, and uh, I don't know. Maybe we could we, maybe we could persuade them uh, if we can actually get a, get a good following for it. But I can understand that. I mean, if most people in Russia play that, then anyone in any other country, then I suppose they wouldn't want uh, a different country doing it. But that's uh, I suppose that's, their, that's their choice. But we we can persuade them. I think. Sure. <laughs> Are you listening <laughs> to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'll have a word with them. I'll see. I'll see what they say because I, I think there's a whole list of games that they make that we could uh, we could stream and see whether we can uh, get a bit yeah. of an interest for it. Um, it's mm. just trial and error, really, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, for us. Yes, uh, so guys, um, so like like we said at the start, these uh, videos are essentially just like an up-to-date, just keep you, keep you guys informed about what's happening, uh, what's new, and essentially what's going to happen. So uh, look out for our new um, box opening video. I'm going to be doing opening 3,000 boxes on Trove. That video should be up live in the next three to seven days, and we'll also most likely make a piñata uh, popping uh, video as well like we did last time because I've got Shadow, Winter, uh, Summer, and Prancing Pinatas to open. Yeah, for the private. Uh, so, I think that's all for now, guys. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you. you enjoyed the uh, information. See you later, guys. See you, guys. <laughs>